But I'm going to go through quickly some of the sanding accessories and sanding applications that you can do with the, the fine Multimaster. There's three main groups of sanding accessories. There's the larger four and a half inch sanding pad, obviously for, for sanding larger areas. There's the delta sanding head, little triangular head. Um, it's very good for sanding up against corners, or into corners, sorry, and up against edges. And then we have something that's a little bit different, which is the profile sander. So dependent on the profile that you're trying to sand, we have different shaped blocks which are inserted into the holder, and then that obviously changes the, uh, the profile of the sanding head. Okay, so I'm going to use the uh, four and a half inch sanding pad first. Now this is perforated, the abrasive is perforated, so if you've got a dust extraction attachment with a machine, you can use a dust extraction attachment on there just to uh, reduce the amount of dust that's becoming airborne. And it's ideal for sanding larger areas. Uh, one of the things that you want to do is just slow the machine down a bit, it runs a little bit too fast on full speed as a sander. So you have speed selector on the side there, and usually come down to somewhere around a two, or a three. The next accessory that we're going to use will be the delta sanding head. Um, obviously it's not as big as a four and a half inch sander, so it's for, for smaller areas, um, but also comes into its own really when you're trying to sand up into a corner. Now the angle on the head is less than 90 degrees, so it'll allow you to fit up into a, a 90 degree corner. And because of the oscillating movement of the machine, what you don't tend to get, you don't get a lot of chatter that you can get from, from some of the sanders. This pad that I'm using here is a, a solid pad, but it's also available uh, as a perforated option. So again, you can use a dust extraction attachment on the machine if you, uh, if you have it. The abrasive just goes on like so. And then again, we set speed Two. Okay, now we're going to do some sanding with the profile sanding set. Uh, it's a little bit different from the other ones, whereas the other ones are really designed to do a flat. The profile sanding set is designed for sanding profiles. So, attach it to the machine, same way as the, uh, the other accessories. And with this accessory here, I've got a, a concave uh, form in there, and that's going to follow the profile that we've got on this skirting board here and uh, sand along the top edge of it. With this accessory, you can change over the profiles, and you can see we've just been left with a slight marking across the top here where the, uh, the profile wouldn't get into the corner. So, what I'm going to do is just change over, pop a, a different shape profile in, insert that into there, and then just pop your abrasive paper back over the top. I've changed the shape of the head, and this will allow me to get into this corner here just to send off uh, anything that's remaining.